Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Breakdown. And today, in this Help Me Devon Breakdown, we'll be taking a look at the Austrian Audio OC16, which is a large diaphragm convincer microphone from Austrian Audio. Now, also, this microphone features the CKR6 capsule, which is also the same exact capsule that's in their OC18 microphone at almost double the price. One video that I stumbled upon was one of my favorite YouTube channels, Booth Junkie, and he was showing us a comparison between this microphone and the Neumann U87, and it threw me off so much to the point where I ran to the microphone and said, I have this microphone with me right now, and I couldn't believe it. Okay, okay, okay. So right now what we're gonna do is we're going to have a shootout, a test with the Austrian Audio OC16 and a vintage Neumann U87. And right off bat, what I really notice is that the OC16 has a lot of body. There's a ton more body that I'm feeling on the OC16. Now on the other side with the Neumann, what I notice is that Neumann sound, that openness, that clarity that I hear in the top end. But the OC16, at the same time doesn't feel like it's lax in comparison it feels like it's giving me something somewhat different but they sound very similar in the sense of how it's absorbing that mid-range and how they feel but definitely the OC16 definitely has way more body and low end on its uh, side. Now that can be obviously what, what you decide as far as what is your desired vocal or whatever sound source you want. Maybe you are looking at the OC16 and saying to yourself that this is a all-in-one mic where you can record vocals, but being that it has some of that body uh, feature that it's bringing in too, maybe on a guitar, it would actually give you that type of stuff and those frequencies and reproduce it really, really nicely and give you that tone that you're looking for. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a plosive test just to feel it out. Now. Granted, I know with the plosive test, I'm going to hear this OC16 probably booming uh, when it comes to this. Let's check it out. Cool. So that was a plosive test between the two. You can kind of hear the difference. Now let's do a sibilance test. Let's see how this these two microphones basically handle S's and T's and sibilance. and I am now lightheaded. Uh, I'm actually really, really impressed with this microphone as far as standing next to the Norman U87. Of course, the Norman U87 has a little bit more of an open sound, especially in that top end. I can definitely hear that. But on the other side, with the OC16, I'm getting a lot more body, and I'm still getting a top end that is not bad at all. I actually like the sound of it. It's a little bit calmer in that regard. After this breakdown, I want you guys to draw your own conclusions. Austrian Audio was so gracious to send me this microphone, so I'm just going to let you hear it for what it is, and I'm just giving you a few pieces of information as far as my opinion of what I felt, but I want you to draw your own conclusions on what you're about to hear. Shout out to Boo Junkie. When I saw that review of the microphone, I immediately was flabbergasted being that this microphone is way cheaper uh, than the heralded famous Norman U87. Okay, so let's deep dive into this microphone. Let's get an idea of the build quality and what comes in the packaging. So upon opening the box, we're greeted with this soft carrying case. Inside, you'll get a microphone, a shock mount, and also a mic clip, which I appreciate, just giving me a little bit more versatility on my setup. Next, you'll see that shock mount, which has a plastic feel, but there are a few pieces that are metal. Something that I did notice was, when you try to plug an XLR into the microphone, I didn't feel a click. It could just be mine, but something to note. Next, the microphone does have a high pass filter, which goes from zero to 40 to 160. Now, let's take a listen to what this microphone sounds like. Check this out. We can have a combo when I finish my liquor. You know the Casamigos always feeding my ego. He gonna make me do some shit that's borderline illegal. Be quiet. I'm the one that got her that job and got to fly. I'm the one that let her use my credit for her ride. And you up in the passenger. I'd be damned if I sit down and just pass it up, yeah. Okay, so you heard what the Austrian Audio OC16 sounds like, feels like, and looks like for the most part. And I will tell you, for me personally, I am extremely impressed with this microphone at this price point. When, when I heard it in comparison to the other microphones, I was pretty impressed. It's very transparent, it's very open. There's a slight bump in that high end, but like I said, it's not fizzling, it's not sizzling, it just, 
feels right. It feels natural. It feels really clean. And that is a microphone that I've been looking for for a little bit. It's just looking for something that felt very neutral in its overall sound. When it comes to who this microphone is for, I think this is a great mic for some people with home studios. Of course, this can work in the large studios as well, but if you have a home studio and you're looking for a microphone that's all encompassing to record guitars, to record vocals, to cut a bunch of different things, I think this microphone is great for that and giving you a natural and neutral and transparent sound. Something that just captures the elements that are right there. What's great about it is, is it's also doing a good, a really good job of capturing that mid range and those low mids, which is something that I find lacking in a lot of microphones and makes it feel a little bit thinner in the actual mix or your sound source. So I hope that you could draw your own conclusion from this microphone after hearing and seeing all of those things. One thing I do want to mention, and I want to say thank you so much to Austrian Audio as well is they sent me a pair of their headphones, which is the X60s. Now I'm going to do a review or breakdown on these as well. And let me tell you, I've never been a headphone guy on this channel. We all know this. I don't really, I'm not really big on headphones, but these are the best headphones I've ever heard um, in the studio. Uh, literally, you see they're plugged in right now because I literally moved the headphones that I had uh, been using for some time now. And these things are insane. I'll show you these pretty soon. So that was my breakdown on the Austrian Audio OC16. I hope that was helpful. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Also, Please let me know what other stuff you would love for me to review in the comments below. Also, make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on Instagram and make sure you're listening to the My Audio Nerds podcast every single Wednesday. Uh, episode drop on this particular uh, channel as well as on Spotify and Apple Music. Also, make sure you join our Discord community with a bunch of aspiring engineers like yourself, giving secrets, trading game, and talking. Also, make sure you get that HMD Rosetta EQ. I'll leave a link in the description below. I hope that that was helpful. Until next time, you guys.